Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these spring colorful circular seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell. Also please like, share and comment in this way you help me so much. If you want, you could support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now, without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 seed beads. I'm also using earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use also size 12. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I'm starting my work by picking up four white and four iris beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here guys what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and now what I want to do is to make just one more knot. Okay, my friends, now this is what I have and I will go through some beads in this direction. In my next step, I'm taking two white beads and I go back in circle like this. Then I go in the iris bead and take two iris. Go again like this and this time also through the following bead just to save one movement. Okay. And I'm going to continue this guys until the end of this row. First I'm taking two white and adding them. Then take two iris and add them. By the way, if you have noticed guys, recently I add less videos than usual. This is because I started a new job. I'm selling multifunctional printers to people in UK. All my life I've been selling computers and computer technologies. And now I continue with this, but in another company this time for the UK market. So um, I need to get used to this job and need some time. That is why I'm posting one video per week recently. Maybe even I will make a, a break from YouTube at some point. But uh, my intention is to continue with my channel. So stay with me in future. If you have any comments about this, Please don't be shy, put them down there. Okay, so now I have these guys. Now in my next step, what I want to do is go in this direction like this. Now I'm changing directions. And what I want to do is to make a circle and, and make my beads stay next to each other. Okay. That is why I'm going to flip my work like this. And don't worry, I'm flipping this is just because I'm right handed and I prefer to go in this direction. It's easier for me. And I continue in the same way. until I make my beads stay in a nice shape. 
straight and nice. Okay, and what I want to do in my next step is to go through the following white bead. And I'm taking an orange and a white and I'm going back through this white bead. Then I go in the next white. I'm taking another white. And this time, just to save time, go through this white backwards. You see I have a loop here between those beads. And I exit in the next iris bead. Then I take a light green and an iris. And I go backwards like this. Okay, I have a loop here and I take another iris and go through the iris and through the white one. Okay, I have this now. And I'm going to take an orange and a white like I did before. I'm going back through this white and through the following. Then another white, go back through this white and through the next iris, a light green and an iris, go back through this iris and exit out of the next iris, and one more iris, go back through it and through the following white. And continue this absolutely the same way until the end of this row. Okay, my friends, and this is the last bead I'm adding here. Now, what I want to do at this point is cut this tail thread because it's on my way all the time. And now, like I did in my previous row, I want to turn directions. I want to go like this through all of those beads. Like this, okay? Now I want to flip my work. And I'm going around through all of those beads. Until I make everything nice and even. Okay, my friends, and for my next row, as I'm exiting from this green bead, I'm going backwards through this green and through the following iris, adding two greens. Then one iris, and one white bead. and go in the next orange. Here two orange beads. Go back through the orange and through the white. And one white. And one turquoise.
and two greens. So the iris and the white, I add them one by one. And the colorful beads, uh, the orange and the green, I add them two by two. I think it's really easy and really simple. And I'm sure that if you follow what I showed you here, at these first few steps, you will be able to do this until the end of this row. Just white and iris one by one, green and orange two by two. Yes, it is that easy. Okay? Now do this by yourself until the end. If you forget something, just watch from this part and repeat it and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here is the last iris bead that I'm adding here in this row. And then I will do absolutely the same thing like I did in my previous rows. I'm turning direction. And when I turn it, I also flip my work because it's easier for me to go like this. When I turn direction, nothing changes, only it's easier for me to do it. So I will go around through all of my beads and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and I reinforce this row. Now what I'm going to take is a red and an orange bead and as I'm exiting from the first orange, I go back in circle and exit out of the next orange. Okay. Then I take one orange and I go like this. Now in my next step guys, I'm going to add two single iris beads. First one iris here at the white and then another iris here at the iris. Now here what I want to do is take one dark green and one light green and I go back like this. And after that, I take one more light green bead. So this here is similar to this here. The difference is that uh, here I use light green, dark green, light green, and here I use orange, red, orange. And after that, two iris, one by one, okay? One iris. And because I'm not using any more white beads, this is another iris. Again, a red and an orange. Go back like this. One orange. Go back where like this and then two iris one by one one by one and start again with the green part Okay, now two iris, red and orange, orange, two iris, dark green and light green. And continue this until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just watch from here. 
Okay, I'll finish this until the end and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I'm adding another iris bead. This is the last one. And now what I need to do is absolutely the same thing. Go back to all of those beads. And uh, in the process I will flip my work because it will be much much easier for me to do it this way. Okay, I will reinforce it and I'll be back. And the next row guys is pretty easy. I'm exiting out of this dark green bead and I'm going back like this. Then one by one I'm going to add four iris beads. Here I add two red beads at the red one. And I repeat the same thing for iris. Then two green beads. Four iris. Two reds for iris, two dark greens for iris, two reds for iris, and it is the same thing until the end. And when I finish this row, I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see how I'm doing the first part and repeat it until the end. It's really easy this row. And again, I'm changing directions by going back like this. And again, I'm flipping like always. And I continue with this straightening up of my beads. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and as I reinforce my work, I'm exiting here after the second green bead. And I'm taking one green. And I go back in circle just like this. Okay. Then I go in the next iris bead. Two iris. Go back in circle like this. One iris. One iris. And then again two iris beads. And I go through the iris and through the two red ones. Then I take just one red and I go back like this and exit out of the next iris. Two iris go back like this and through the following iris. Again one iris. One iris. and two iris and then i'm going through the following iris and through the next two green beads just to save some time and here i need one green bead and go back through these two greens Okay, and next to these greens, 
I need two iris beads again. Then two single iris beads. And before and after the colorful part, if uh, it doesn't matter if it's red or green, before the colorful part, I add two and go through it and through the following two. Then I add the last colorful bead. And after the colorful part, I add two. So you could remember where you add two iris beads. It is before and after the colorful parts here, red and green. And in between, you add two single iris beads. Okay, and I will continue like this until I'm up to here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and you will see. Okay, I'll meet you at this point. Okay, guys, and here I am next to this green bead where I just added these two iris beads and in the same way as before. I'm going in this direction through as many beads as I can in one movement to reinforce my last row. Oops, sorry, I went through my loop here. Okay, and then I pull. And then what I want to do is to flip like this. And to go around through all of my beads, straightening and reinforcing them. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and when I reinforce my work, this is what I have. I'm exiting out of this red bead after the red bead. And now what I want to take are two iris beads, my earring finding and two iris beads. And I'm going backwards like this. Then guys, in my next step, what I want to do is to reinforce and after I reinforce I want to find a place and make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, let's say I'm making this knot here. I'm making a loop. I'm going twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. I could repeat this knot several more times. But when I'm ready, I'm cutting this tail thread okay guys and now my spring colorful circular seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't also like share and comment and you could also support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.